What's up people, we're here to talk quickly about the Power 8 Enhanced Controller because so many of you have left me comments under my unboxing video about this and my video telling you how to map the back buttons. So I just wanted to address a few of them by giving you some pros and cons as I've now had this for over 150 days and pretty much used it every single day. So let's jump straight into it. First off, pros, it is super, super cheap. Compare this to a scuff controller, for example. They cost well over £100. This will cost you 30 or 35 depending on what colour you pick. And if you want to pick one up, I'll leave a link down below to Amazon so you can pick one up and support the channel using my affiliate link. You're a legend. Thank you very much. And that is definitely the biggest pro of this. So if something does happen to it and it breaks, it's only £30. It's not £100 plus. You don't need to worry about it, you can just buy another one or buy a different controller. But I've used this every day and it's still working perfectly. So a lot of you ask that, how's it working? Are the sticks still working? Are the buttons still working? It all is working awesome. No problemos with this at all so far. The next big pro for this is for the price, you also get the back buttons, which you can see here. And they are just the best if you're playing FPS games because you can do things without having to take your fingers off the sticks. So you could be running around a corner, a bad guy could be there and you could just hit the back button and you melee them. Or you could be using that for a building, for example, in Fortnite, jumping about. You can jump without taking your fingers off the sticks as well for aiming at the same time. It's really, really useful. So that is the reason I use this all the time and I literally cannot play Fortnite without it. Next pro is the sticks here and they feel exactly the same as the ones on the official Series S or X controller. You will not notice the difference. They're awesome, really, really good. Next big pro for me is the mute button here, which is also a volume slider. So you can turn the volume up and down on your headset and you can also click it in to mute your microphone so that people don't hear you. You might be talking to someone in your room. Really cool feature, especially if your headset doesn't have that built in, mine doesn't. So I think this is really, really cool. Last pro is the wire it is a super long wire. It is really, really long. I've no idea how long it is. It must be about two or three meters, but that leads us into the cons. That is my first con. This is really good, this wire, if you sit really far away from your console, for example, maybe you're in your living room or your bedroom and you're sitting on a sofa or on a bed and you're far away from it. Like me in this recording room, I'm really close to my Xbox. So it's so annoying, it just gets tangled all the time and caught in my feet, for example. So it would be really cool if it was wireless, but it's not, and for the price, that's probably why. And I guess as well, if you're playing competitively, I guess it could be a little bit of a pro as well, as the cable means you're not going to get any latency from the buttons because it is not wireless. But yeah, that is annoying, this cable is so long. Next up, big con is, these triggers, they do actually feel a lot cheaper and they sound a lot cheaper compared to the Xbox official controller. Uh, you notice that right away. They've not caused me any problems. They still work perfectly, but they do not have the nice tension that the official controller does. So bear that in mind. And then last but not least, I've thought that the back grip is not as good on the Power A enhanced controller as the official controller is, but the front grip is definitely better. I don't know if it's just this color we have got, this kind of blue and green one, but it's got a really nice soft feeling, which is really good, especially if you've been playing for long hours or it's really hot and your hands get sweaty. This is really good at the front, the back's not as good, whereas this one, I would say the back is better, so it's got good grip on that one. But yeah, I like it a lot. Conclusion, should you buy one of these? Absolutely, if you play a lot of first person shooter games um, or any kind of shooter games and you want access to these back buttons, even fighting games, it could probably be pretty useful as well. Super easy to map these buttons to whatever you want it to be. It works on all Xbox Series S and Series X and all the Xbox One consoles and on PC. So for 30 or 35 pounds, this is an awesome little controller. Any questions about it, please let me know down below. Like I said, I've had this for over 150 days. I checked my first video when it went live on the channel and you all know I stream Fortnite a lot on the channel here. I use this controller all the time. So thank you very much for watching. Any questions, leave them down below. Hopefully this video was helpful. It was just a quick video to answer some of your questions. Leave the video a thumbs up and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.